Head outside on a clear night and look up. Hold your thumb out to the sky as if telling the universe, good job. In just the patch of sky behind your thumb, there are millions of galaxies. Stretching out far beyond the visible stars, our skies are teeming with a universe of complexity from asteroid fields and black holes to vast hydrogen clouds giving birth to new solar systems. And how do we know this? Well, the tools we've developed for observing celestial bodies and making sense of them all are key parts to the discipline of astronomy. From studying the mechanics of the solar system to learning how to apply sophisticated algorithms to telescope images. Astronomers aim to answer the big questions, like how was the universe created? Could there be life beyond our planet? And what am I going to do after college? Hi, I'm Vanessa Hill, and welcome to Fast Guides, a study hall series that explores different college majors. Let's find out more about unpacking the universe and its secrets. Astronomy is the study of the universe. That means observing naturally formed objects in outer space. We're talking the big stuff, like the sun, planets, and faraway stars. We can imagine people looking and contemplating the heavens for all of time, but we also know that people have been doing it for thousands of years. Archaeological records show that the ancient Assyro-Babylonians studied celestial objects in the sky 3,000 years ago. The stars were far-off sources of wonder for these early astronomers, as captivating as they were mysterious. Years later, the ancient Greeks built on that work using simple deductions and arguments based on geometry and physics, and came up with explanations for what they saw. That was only the beginning for our understanding of the heavens. Many civilizations would build on that work, from the ancient Greeks to empires across modern-day India and China. During the Dark Ages in Europe, scholars throughout the Islamic world even built instruments to measure the sky's angles. These ancient peoples all had questions, like what orbited what? Spoiler alert, everything does not revolve around the Earth. We now know the universe is a frothing mess of action, with stars constantly being born, exploding into black holes, or turning into neutron stars that shoot bursts of radio waves we measure here on Earth. But that knowledge has only opened the door to more questions and discoveries. An astronomer's job is finding ways to observe and understand these complex processes. Modern astronomers peer into the unseen depths of the universe with an array of telescopes, particle detectors, satellites, and more. They're working to answer some of the big questions in science, like how our planet formed, or the chances of an asteroid hitting us. Don't freak out, it's pretty low. But to be safe, don't look up. Astronomers also measure solar activity that could mess with power grids, help model our own climate, and monitor little glitches in the Earth's rotation to help keep our clocks synchronized. Basically, astronomy helps us make sense of that great expanse and our place in it, and that's pretty cool. But before you can start answering the biggest questions of the universe, you'll need to study the basics. Majoring in astronomy gives you a window into these topics and a starting point for getting involved in everything from research and engineering to science communication. For starters, virtually all astronomy majors take some introductory physics courses. A strong grasp on core physics principles like gravity, thermodynamics, and even quantum mechanics underpin much of the stuff we see going on in space. All of these similarities with physics majors are why a lot of your courses will often be in the Joint Department of Physics and Astronomy. In fact, many colleges include astronomy as part of a physics or even astrophysics major, which is another potential option for a budding astronomer. Astronomers study the universe, but astrophysics focuses on the physical processes and behaviours of celestial bodies. Think of astrophysics as a branch of astronomy, and a really important one at that. But let's take a step back. The main difference between astronomy and traditional physics is that astronomers will usually have specific courses on things like the physics of stars and planets, the dynamics of galaxies, and even the engineering of telescopes and satellite arrays. Those differences are important, but these two fields still pair well together. Think like peanut butter and jelly. 
or pickles and Nutella, whatever your dream flavor duo is. In fact, double majoring in astronomy and physics is really common. Grappling with physics also means getting comfy with its old friend, math. As an astronomy major, you can expect core math modules in things like calculus and algebra, which are the language of physics and engineering. Astronomers also explore chemistry, since it gives us a window into the makeup of stars, planets, and asteroids. Some colleges even offer courses in astrobiology and astrogeology, which study the conditions needed for life beyond Earth. Can't wait to see how much Zillow says a loft on Mars's Arcadia Quadrangle goes for. Finally, as a scientist, you'll also take classes in statistics and data analysis, which often go hand in hand with specific courses in computing and programming. That's because nowadays, trawling through huge amounts of data gathered from telescopes and satellites is typically done with computers. Basically, you can expect your classes to reflect a little bit of everything about the universe. Astronomy has a little something for everybody. It can be hands-on, tinkering with machinery and fiddling with lenses, or behind the scenes, data crunching with Bayesian statistics. It can also be theoretical, as you come up with models of dark matter to fit data. Usually, astronomy is some mix of all of that. But there are certain traits that could make it a particularly good choice of college major. If you've ever had questions about the stars or love science experiments, an astronomy major could be right for you. That's also true if you're drawn to tricky math problems and want to know how the universe works. Beyond that, like with most science and math majors, these days it helps to be curious about computing and programming, or at least having an open mind to learning more about them. We now have so many tools to collect and analyze data that it will likely play a big role in your studies. That's especially true if you're interested in becoming a researcher or an engineer. Programming is part of the core tools that astronomers use to deal with masses of observations gathered from a complex assortment of machines and detectors, which collect reams of data from the night sky. Ultimately, being comfortable getting into the weeds of things is a big asset. That's true whether you're learning how to adjust the mirrors of a reflecting telescope, debugging an algorithm for detecting exoplanets, or just wrapping your head around stellar nucleosynthesis. Unpacking the mysteries of the universe takes patience and curiosity, and having both could set you up for success if you dive into an astronomy major. Studying astronomy can teach you extraordinary things about the universe and the majesty of the cosmos, but it isn't all shooting stars and grand discoveries. Your coursework could have you spending sleepless hours late into the night making observations through a telescope. Or you could be analyzing data for projects that can last many months. You'll also be heavily immersed in math and science courses that can be very demanding. The payoff is potentially discovering something new and wonderful about the universe, which is a thrill many scientists find incomparable. We all want a comet named in our honor, right? But if the long hours and slow pace aren't quite your speed, swapping majors could be a possibility. A different science major in statistics, engineering, or even finance could build on the math and technical skills that overlap with astronomy. If you do stick with astronomy, there are still options beyond the major's course syllabus that could help you mix things up a bit. Some budding astronomers get involved with public engagement, for example volunteering at an observatory, or taking similar routes to use more people-oriented skills. And this experience can also set you up to know what kind of career to pursue after graduation. But what does come after you've kicked off your journey into the heavens? While the universe evolves on the scale of millions of years, you might find that college goes by a little quicker. And an astronomy major can take you in many different directions after graduation. The universe is constantly expanding in all directions, and your career options can too. If doing research and discovering new and wonderful things about the cosmos sounds appealing, you'll almost certainly have to head to graduate school to do a master's or maybe even a doctorate. Graduate degrees give astronomers hands-on, focused, and specific technical skills in a given area. 
That experience sets them up to conduct robust scientific analyses and widen the sphere of knowledge about the universe. If you choose this path, you might find job opportunities in a university or laboratory, working as a researcher or professor. That leads us to salaries, which can be tricky because they change year to year and by location. But as of 2022, a research astronomer or professor can make anywhere from around $63,000 to $181,000 with an annual wage for astronomers of $128,330. That's usually in a physics or astronomy department at a university. But some national labs also look for astronomers. A great resource for astronomy jobs in these areas is the job register hosted by the American Astronomical Society, linked in the description. But the options for astronomy majors are as vast and varied as the universe they study. And to be totally upfront, while the number of stars in the night sky appear infinite, Research astronomer positions are not, so it is a great idea to have a backup plan. With problem solving, coding, statistical and organisational skills, astronomy majors can find a home in lots of different careers. For instance, you could work at a university as a lab or research assistant, where salaries are typically in the $25,000 to $45,000 range as of 2020. This is a great way to see what academic research in astronomy is like before committing to many years of grad school. For astronomy majors who don't go to graduate school, you can still continue using your technical skills in science, technology, engineering, or math positions, also known as STEM-related jobs. Those careers include roles like analysts, engineers, and software developers across a range of private sector organizations, where their scientific training and quantitative experience comes in handy. Based on 2020 data, these roles tend to have salaries in the $50,000 to $80,000 range, though some can go as high as $100,000. Other astronomy majors opt for a change of pace in the private sector, taking up non-STEM positions in a range of roles from finance to operations, which still make use of technical skills. Another common route is teaching in middle or high school, helping to develop a new generation of curious minds. Here, as of 2022, you can expect to earn anywhere from $45 to $100,000, depending on the type of school you land at. So while astronomy might seem like it's all about spending time with your head in the stars, there are lots of down-to-earth opportunities you can pursue. Ultimately, choosing to be part of humanity's long-standing efforts to look closely at and make sense of the universe is a challenging but rewarding path to follow. If you're looking for a chance to marvel at the wonders of creation while spending time immersed in the nitty-gritty details while picking up scientific and quantitative skills that could benefit your career, Career, an astronomy major could open a lot of doors. In astronomy, not even the sky is the limit. If you want to investigate more degrees before you choose a major, check out our other videos in this playlist. To find out how to earn college credit with Study Hall, go to gostudyhall.com or click the link here or in the description. And if you want to help us out, give this video a like and a comment and let us know how you chose your degree or what you wish you'd known before you started your degree. Thanks for watching.